Mega here, and uh, I'm doing a video for a Suron Light B today, the Suron Light B Supermoto setup. Um, and uh, I, f I feel I've uh, I've written it enough, and uh, I've written it enough where like I I can I can give a review on it now <laughs> is, what, is what's going on. So uh, so I've, I've written it on the street. Ah, see you suckers! <laughs> I'm in the bike lane. On mountain mountain pass. I'm giving it rear brake. Oh, hey, look, we caught up, caught up to a rider. So we must be doing good, man, if we catch up to this dude. <laughs> He's on like a real motorcycle, man. Let's see if we can keep up with him. Oh, hey, that was BMWC Evolution. <laughs> that was an electric scooter. Sliding around a little bit. Hey, Zomega keeps up with motorcycle on Sierra Road downhill. Brake hard, brake hard, brake hard. Roads. Um, I rode it off road at an off road park on dirt trails. Alright, so last time I got some head shake coming down here, but I did tighten the headset this time. I should be more confident riding through here. We're doing about 40 through this section. Oh. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. And um, and then there we did we did a bunch of jumps with it. I definitely don't feel as comfortable. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> we did hill climbs. Here we go. Bonsai! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Come on! Paddle! 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 I'm paddling! <laughs> oh my god, dude! It barely made it up. We did, uh, and we jumped some logs and. Oh shit! I hit that one really hard. Stuff, and we rode some single track. Uh... Remember, this thing is a single track weapon, dude. No, oh, I've never done this one before. It's pretty hard. Oh, dude, I'm afraid I'm gonna go off. Oh, 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 it's a big drop off. <sighs> um, and we'll go over like how it did all that. Um, uh, what else? Uh, we took it to the racetrack, uh, a, a cart track. This one. Break hard. There we go. I'm starting to get now. It's a little crazy running the Supermoto setup, man. It's wild, dude. There you go. You gotta give it gas, man. Don't be afraid to give it some gas. Drag raced it. <laughs> Here we go. Just look at the ground until we get there. 37, 38, 39, 40. Come on, 40, come on. I can't even see what that is. We got the 40. Yeah. All right. All right. So we, 
I've put it through its paces, so I feel like I can uh, I can talk about it now. So. Uh, Okay, so this is my Suron Light B MX with the uh, Supermoto kit on it, and uh, and then this is it has the Supermoto kit from uh, from Suron sold by Lunacycle, um, and uh, it comes with uh, so I have a video on how to install everything and and when I unbox it and everything, check that video out. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of talk about everything that was installed, but but when you get it. When you get it, you get the two wheels with the tires and the tubes and everything installed. You even get the sprocket and the brake disc. So for all of that, you get that for about 350. I got it on sale, so I think it was like it was like 400 ship though. So so let's say like about 400 bucks for the whole the whole setup. And you get a chain too because you kind of you need a you need a smaller chain. Um. So um, I I. Another thing is I've never ridden the light B. I never ridden a stock light B. Uh, my light B had has some Shinko uh, trials tires and a 62 sprocket on it. So that's a little different than the stock uh, tires. The stock tires had some kind of I think they were CST knobbies and I never got them. And um, and it has a 48 tooth sprocket. Um, the Supermoto has a 42 tooth sprocket. So. So your speedometer reads right. So that's the good thing. It makes your speedometer work right. Um, it, it is accurate. I've checked it with a GPS. It's accurate to within a mile or two. It's pretty. It's pretty close to what your actual speed is. So it's, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we found out its top speed is around 47 miles per hour, give or take. Um, yeah, 47 miles per hour. You can. It'll pretty easily get up there. I won't say pretty easily. It take it takes a while to get to top speed uh, with the Supermoto setup. It just doesn't have the torque it did with the 62 sprocket. But but uh, it's like you know 37 miles per hour with the 62 and then uh, and then 47 with the Supermoto setup. So that's 10 miles an hour. That's a big difference in speed. <laughs> I'll tell you that now. Uh, I can tell you that now. Um, but it takes a while to get there. Uh, what else? Um, so oh, was there any kind of problems during the install no not really um it was pretty easy to it was pretty easy to put it together um and uh i did find some of the spokes were kind of loose so i tightened them uh i haven't i haven't rechecked them anytime uh anytime around now well, i have not rechecked them um I must have put. Uh, I think I put about a hundred miles on these on the Supermoto setup, close to, because we did some range testing. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so for the range testing, you can check those. You can check those videos if you. You know, there were just little vlogs I shot, and we were gonna do. We were doing some city riding, um, and we found out the Supermoto setup. She can only get like thirty miles uh, with. Yeah, you can only get thirty miles with the Supermoto setup, um, and. Uh, and you get 27 miles with uh, full uh, uh, in full power. Um, yeah, if you ride it like a motorcycle on the street, um, you you only get you get 27 miles. So it's only three miles off from from the low power mode riding in bike lanes. So uh, it's really not much of a difference, I guess, <laughs> if you ask me. Um, yeah, so. So that's the kind of range I was getting uh, with the 62 sprocket and the and the dirt tires. I was getting 30, 37. So um, the light B can go farther if you if you if you gear it down. Um, or yeah, you make the gear you make the gearing shorter. Is what I'm gonna say. Make the gearing shorter. It'll run longer because it's not push. It's not a. Uh, it's not stressing the motor out as much. Um, this will hit a low voltage cutout much sooner than than the with the 62 sprocket but yeah you get that top speed that's the cool thing okay so uh, one thing to note about is it lowers your bike it lowers your bike like two three inches noticeably lower um, and you notice the bike stands up almost straight now <laughs> um, i found out um to to help it lean a little more you can you can push the side stand out a little bit and it'll lean a little more so that's good uh, I, I always i'm always afraid the wind's gonna blow and it's gonna knock the bike over so I'm gonna talk about well, okay. So, so um, what I think about the wheels? I think they're okay. They're really light. Um, I haven't broken them yet. They seem like they're okay. It's like a hundred miles of uh, you know a lot of mixed use. 
a lot of riding on the street, some in the dirt, and you know. Um, and the reason I rode this bike in the dirt is because I never rode a supermoto. Oh, really, really got a scratch there, no. They haven't gotten scratched or anything yet, so they they still look good. Um, after like a hundred miles. Uh, yeah. So for for riding around on the street, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that uh, it makes the ride a little rougher. Um, you're gonna want to turn your compression down a little bit, and or you want to soften up your suspension a little bit if you're gonna ride it on the street. Um, this and this is just like normal riding on the street. Um, nothing like crazy, you know. Um, it's perfectly fine for that. The bike, the bike, it makes the bike lower. But it feels, it isn't, really doesn't feel that low um, when you're riding it. I don't really notice much of a difference uh, until you hit the corner. So, <laughs> so um, since the bike is lower, um, the first thing that's going to scrape are your foot pegs. Um, and I noticed the foot pegs were, were, uh, were scraping at the, um, at the racetrack. Um, so uh, my, well, we're talking about the street right now. So yeah, um, for riding on the street, it's okay. If you're not riding too fast or taking the corners too fast, I think it's fine. Uh, fine the way it is. Um, the big, my biggest complaint about the Supermoto setup, and I want to go over that right now with all different other riding, um, is uh, is the tires. These tires suck, man. <laughs> These are the CST tires that came with it. Um, it's like it's a great deal. It came with tires already, you know. Um, it uses a weird 17 inch, uh, tire size. It's very thin. Um, I think, I think it's designed for mopeds. You have to buy a tire for mopeds. You, it's not easy to find tires for this bike, uh, is what I found out. Um, you can't, there, there, not a lot of places will stock a tire for this. Um, you would have to get it like maybe like a scooter or something or a super cub maybe has the same tire. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um. Uh, unlike this, uh, so this is my KLX 140 Supermoto, and these are pretty much uh, Ninja, like a Ninja 200, Ninja 250 or Ninja 300 tires. Um, they're they're small motorcycle tires, and they're great. They grip great. Um, the CSC tires, they don't grip at all. <laughs> they they're, they're horrible. The, I think the the problem is the compound they use on them are is so hard. It takes a long time for it to warm up. It's just it's not a good tire for for cornering, um, and that's why I say it's okay for just riding on the street. But but if you're going to be taking the corners at speed, like like when I rode it on Sierra Road, I caught it sliding a lot of times. The frontal slide, the back will slide, and it, you know it, it kind of skips around a little bit, and um, it just when when you least expect it, it it just loses grip and just starts sliding and it's not I don't think it's the bike I don't think it's me you know I think it's the tires I'm I think it's these tires that are crappy but I will find out when I replace them um, when I had the dirt tire the Shinko trials tires on those tires gripped great I had no problem with those they didn't lose traction at all even at the racetrack so I had uh, I had a crash I um, I, I spun out on the racetrack as when I when I first got on I got a video clip of that Check it out. Okay, so yeah. Um, so I was coming on the track and then, uh, you know, it, it immediately comes onto a left-hander and, and I give it, some, give it some throttle and the back just spins out and then I go down and the bike goes down. So, And I've had that happen to me before. Um, on my on my Kawasaki ZR7, I, I I wheeled it out of the garage to uh, to um to get the, to make this video. But uh but yeah, same thing, exact same thing happened to me on a cold day. I pulled out of a parking lot and I, I goose the throttle and it spins out and I fall off the bike. Same story. So and that had a racing tire on it. Um, it has a, a yeah it has a um racing compound tire and racing compound tires are are you know they work at a certain heat. Um, and these take a long time to warm up. They take a long time to warm up. It took like, like after maybe more than three laps, like you'd have to do like five laps. And then I felt like, oh yeah, okay, the tires are gripping better now. And we can push the bike harder. Um, it takes a long time for these tires to warm up. Um, yeah, so that's what I don't like about these tires. If you're, if you're not going to push the, this, 
the handling too hard, I think it's okay. Um, even the dirt, it sucked. Riding it in the dirt was, was not very good. It didn't have traction to go up the hill. You know, when it was going up a steep hill, hill climb, the tires just spin, you know, and you kind of have to paddle along with it. Um, whereas I, I, we rode this bike and it, it was like, this had a way more grip. <laughs> these, these tires have way more grip than those tires. So I, I, I think it's the tires. We'll find out when I put some new ones. So, cause this one was a lot easier to ride in the dirt. Than, than this one and I think it's because of the tires it could be because of the tire size but I, I still think it's the tires are just not good um, even in the dirt you know, they didn't want to grip um, obviously it's a street tire but but like this one was okay I, I felt much more comfortable riding this than this in the dirt um, it's harder to pop up over over logs and stuff because the tire because the wheels are smaller um, what else uh, Jumping it, it, you can you can jump the crap out of it. <laughs> I got some mad air with these supermoto setup and. Um, and oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap, dude! Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> dude! You get some mad air on those. Oh my god! I definitely don't feel as comfortable. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Boy, we getting some big air though. So what else haven't we gone over? Uh, so we we did the mountain riding, um, the street. Oh, drag racing. Uh, well, I don't think it really. This is not really a good bike for drag racing. <laughs> but I did take it to the drag race course. Um, we raced and I actually almost won. I almost won that night. Go. <laughs> um, oh. Gearing, it gets up there so slow. It's 27, 27. It does it does the quarter mile in 27 seconds. It's a 27 second bike. It's super slow, man. Um, with this setup, um, and I think it's just you know the light beast just it's just slow in general. It's not a very fast bike. Um, unless uh, if I can get some parts to make it faster, you know, for not that much money, then I'm all for it, you know. But uh, I don't want to dump any more money in this bike. <laughs> I've, already, I've already paid a lot of money for this bike. so. Um, but yeah, I had fun with it. Um, so I wanted to draw, like I said, um, I, think it's, I think it's pretty cool. I think if you're going to ride on the street a lot, um, yeah, if you're going to ride on the street a lot, the, the Supermoto setup makes more sense. Um, uh, your bike will sit up straighter. It'll be lower. Um, if you're if if you're a shorter rider, then it, you know it'll be easier for you to ride it. Um, uh, but you you'll lose some uh, lean angle. You won't be able to lean the bike as much because it's it's shorter. Um, and the tires, I would just suggest you just ditch these tires. Um, 
it's I don't think it's worth it for you to get in a crash or accident like I did because the tires didn't you know the tires were crappy so um I've never I never ridden a motorcycle with tires like this bad like I got a lot of motorcycles you know and um yeah these just they just let go like boop, right away um for no reason like when you're when you're going around the corner uh and and I, you know i thought it was kind of cool at first like yeah supermoto slide you know but it, it just it just does it too much you know it, it doesn't it, the 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 grip does not inspire confidence in riding at all you just feel like i i feel like um i'm gonna like go down any minute <laughs> type of thing it's it's that's it's that scary um so so yeah um if if i if you guys are planning if anybody's planning to put a supermoto setup on their suron light beef the for the suron kit um i suggest you don't use these tires just get rid of them <laughs> buy, buy some tires already i think michelin makes michelin uh, makes a pilot tire for this uh, that's probably what i'm going to go with um yeah but you have to use some kind of moped tire. So that's another thing. Finding tires for the supermoto setup is not easy. Uh, from from what I've found out already, um, not a lot of people, not a lot of manufacturers make them because just you know. Um, however, the uh, where is it? The, the stock tire size. The stock tire size is actually a very common uh, dirt bike tire size. Um, it's the same size as that's that's the front on this Kalex 140. So, actually, finding tires for the dirt setup is not difficult at all. It's a common tire size for many bikes. This no, <laughs> it is not. <laughs> I found that out. Um, so it is harder to find tires. How long these tires last? I couldn't tell you. Um, they look like they look like they're doing really good still. Um, like I said, I put about 100 miles on them. I'm sure you can probably do a couple thousand on them. Um, and like I said, I think the compound is like way too hard. So yeah, in fact, in fact, we lost range compared to the 62 sprocket. So um, that's because uh, you know it doesn't have to um, it doesn't have to work as hard with the 62 sprocket. That's why how we were able to go farther. So um, climbing, climbing. Ah, there we go. There's another one. So hill climbs and stuff like going up mountain passes or just going to like a hill climb, a, a dirt hill climb or something. It did not. It doesn't do it so well. It takes a long time for it to get up to speed if it can get up to speed. Like most of the steep climbs, you'll probably only be able to go like 30 miles an hour, you know. Um, and that's about how fast you're going with a 62 setup. But you're putting a lot more stress on the drive on the powertrain, you know. So, um, so yeah, it's not a good climbing machine with this setup. Um, uh, in my opinion, I think would be better is if you put the stock uh the stock sprocket the 48 tooth sprocket on the supermoto setup and then you get a little more torque and you'll still retain some of that top speed maybe you'll be able to do 40 you know instead of 47 but that's fine with me um and and then you know the motor wouldn't have to work so hard um that's my opinion so i think you should i i think that that sprocket is too small like it doesn't if it, i feel like it's you know it just it doesn't want to climb hills very well um com at least compared to the 62 sprocket the 62 sprocket did pretty damn good going uphill <laughs> um but yeah but it, that's an extreme extremely large sprocket <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say um yeah 42 is like what what like my klr is running right now you know and that has like a 650 it's a huge it's a big engine so um but that's a common that's a common sprocket size um so yeah so i think uh, also for single track, all right, we did ride it in a single track. Um, it, it was fine. It, it's really not much difference compared to the dirt wheels. Um, it's still pretty nimble in the single track, and you can still ride it. Uh, and then the trails and stuff, and the and rough terrain, it's okay. We, uh, one thing I didn't ride it through was some really rocky trails. I didn't want to bash up the wheels, so uh, I I I didn't want I didn't do that. So that's that's okay so so there it is that's my review of the um supermoto setup i think it's a it's a good value i think if you're going to do a lot of uh i think if you're going to do a lot of street riding um it you know it it is it's nicer um and it makes the bike lower for for shorter riders um the tires are harder to find the tires suck 
Um, I would re I would suggest replacing the tires right away. Don't don't use these tires. <laughs> they're they're garbage. Oh. Um, they do look nice though. They they definitely look you know they look the part. It looks like a sport bike tire, kind of like you know this Ninja, this Shinko podium here. These are sport bike tires right here. So they look the part, but uh, but they don't they don't play the part very well. <laughs> That's what I want to say. So, so yeah, um, as far as like, you know, the build quality of everything, I haven't really had any problems with anything. It functions the way it should. Um, like I said, there's no problem. I didn't have any problem with, you know, anything breaking or anything. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my review of the Supermoto setup. Uh, I think it's, uh, if you're going to do a lot of street, uh, riding, it's great, um, for the track, but, uh, but yeah, just, um. Just get better tires. Uh, when when I when I get new tires for this uh, when this bike, I'm looking for some, and uh, I'll let you know how if it if it made a difference uh, in replacing the tires. Um, I just think these tires. I don't think these tires are really good. Um, even these dirt tires, these Shinko Trials tires, they seem to grip better than these ones. And that's a dirt tire, so, <laughs> so that's that's kind of sad if you, if you ask me, you know. Um, it took a lot, a lot of riding, you know, and heat. Uh, I, I don't, I wonder what it would be like to ride, you know, on a really cold day, you know, if the tires wouldn't grip at all, you know. So, I didn't get to ride, did I get to ride in the rain? Hmm. I might have got to ride in the rain. I think I did. I did get to ride it with it in the rain, and I don't know, it was fine, I guess. I didn't really push it too hard in the rain. Uh... Yeah. So yep, that's my review of the Suron Supermoto setup. I hope um, you know. I hope that uh, you know helps people out. I think uh, I think I'm still happy with my purchase. Uh, I, I will probably still take it to the track, you know, to have some fun. It's a it's an interesting bike to ride on the track. <laughs> it's, it's a, compared to like a gasoline powered bike, it's a it's a totally different animal. <laughs> All right, here's what we got. Uh, also, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below, and if I can if I can answer it, I'll let you know. But, uh, but yeah, you can get these you can get these wheels this wheel Supermoto wheel set from uh, from Luna Cycles for about three hundred fifty dollars. Uh, at least that's how much I bought it for. And uh, like I said, I think it's a good it's actually a really good value, you know. But uh, but careful with them tires. <laughs> All right, here's we go.